let's continue our basket case trilogy. Let's just finish it up uh, with part three from 1991. The summary for this film, Dwayne recovers from his delusional breakdown to find his freakish basket bound brother Belial will soon become a father, but not everything is joyous as the once tight knit brothers no longer seem to trust each other. So this is a direct sequel from part two. The like, r- right from it. They even play a little bit of the end, the awesome ending of Basket Case 2, if you've never seen it. There's a fucking wonderful love scene. If you're a stickler for continuity, Basket Case is the trilogy for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it starts off with that hot Belial love scene, and it's a little bit more graphic than I remember it being from part two. Yeah, they let you know what, I, I, did, I give this one, I give this movie one thing, they let you know what it is <laughs> from <laughs> from Go. Motherfucker is humping. <laughs> was that in part two? There was there humping in part two? I don't N- remember. Not that explicitly. Yeah. And and not how are we gonna start this movie? Have yeah. fucking yeah. Well, you got to know what happened last time. But uh, you know, Dwayne at the end of part two had so uh, sewn Belial back onto his body and was losing his mind. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I. I, watching these movies again, again, I noticed that Dwayne talks a lot like uh, Andy Kaufman, like the way he speaks. And yep. I, I kept thinking, like, it would be awesome if this, if he would actually was in these movies. That, that would be a great thing. If Dwayne was Andy Kaufman? Yeah, if the character was played by Andy Kaufman. Think oh, about I thought how good you meant in real life. Oh, yeah. If that was just sure. Andy, what Andy Kaufman did. After, yeah, let's go with that. After I he, like that. After he did. He's still alive. Yeah, he just became the guy from Basket Case. <laughs> But uh, this this movie is my favorite out of all of them. Um, it has some of my favorite scenes. Uh, the freaks sing along on the bus uh, when when there's the birth sequence and Lil Hal is there with the camcorder. Uh, Lil Hal is a great char- new character to the franchise. Uh, he's a giant blob <laughs> with multiple arms. Uh, great character, love it. Um, when the cops break in and steal the little baby Belials, that's an awesome scene too. Come on, guys! It's little baby Belials. Look at there. Oh, I like those. I was just thinking back to the the seven seven arm guy. Oh yeah, that was that one. Come you didn't on. like him yet. That's wonderful. You're they could have done so much better. It was so tromey. I loved it. just the trominess of it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and the, when they reveal little Hal's body, like that's good special effects to me. I th- there's a lot of I thought the special effects were on point on this. Uh, and when Belial's at the police station, there's a lot of fucking really fun kills there. That's awesome. He he makes that one dude. You, this is the only thing I think of. Back when Ghostbusters, the cartoon was on, there's a Peter Venkman doll that you squeezed him and his eyes popped out. Uh, that looks exactly like the one cop that Belial gets. I remember that. He just sque- he squeezes his neck and it's like cartoonish. His eyes pop out. Crazy special effects in this. Um, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy. Like, like. I thought they were. I have a different word for them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a really weird choice that they made the sheriff's daughter uh, Opal such a shitty ass, terrible fucking person. She should have been like the love interest or whatever. Like they they normally would have done that. Just make her a terrible, shitty, weird. That's what you find the weird choice. No, in that, no. Everything else was right in line with what I wanted. <laughs> um, the woman working at the restaurant was a hooker from the first movie. Did you remember that? Did you see that? Uh, she, I think she was in all three of them. Sure. <laughs> I'm just putting out things that I noticed. Okay, and the at the end, Belial in the robot suit. Come on, man. That's awesome. Yeah, keep talking about it because I don't have much to say about uh, yeah. this one. Uh, I, the, the, best thing, <laughs> the best thing about this robot suit that Belial's killing people in is that Dwayne has to operate it with a fucking gasoline generator. He's got hooked up that right down the street. <laughs> I don't know how long the cord is, but it's fucking great. Uh, overall, this movie is uh, one of my new favorites. I really liked it a lot. I want more Basket Case. For my shitty dollar, it doesn't get much better. I give it a 9 out of 10. So that's right below the John Carpenter film I gave a 10 last time. My ratings don't matter. My, they don't. What you think? Um, it, no, it, it's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm not going to rip on it. Um, <clears throat> actually, the one negative that I have about it is uh, Granny Ruth is the, the main character. Yeah. Like, I could have used more um, Belial and, and Dwayne. Like, th- they... A little howl. Like, this... <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a third installment, yeah. But really, like, she she took over the movie. And, uh, I mean, I like, I like the, the monsters or whatever we're going to call them. 
Freaks. Creatures. People. Isn't it weird that, like... They're people, Jason. Yeah. What, uh, now, here's the thing. I, isn't it weird that the baby Belials come out just fucking looking just like a, a deformed... Like, he has human DNA, right? It's Yeah. The, wouldn't there be a chance that they wouldn't be fucked up? No. Not in no <laughs> chance. Uh, <laughs> There's not a chance. No, no, that ain't right. producing nothing. Okay. Anyway, uh... No, and my other word for the effects isn't necessarily, it's not negative, but the practical effects are bonkers in this. That's, That's what true. I bought. Bonkers. Just... Bonkers. Uh, it has a good amount of kills. It's fun. It's it's a five for me. Yeah, it's it's a funny, I mean, it's a funny movie. It's not, like I said, right? If you hit it, if you turn it on and hit play as soon as it starts, if you're not laughing, and excited about what's going on, just shut it off. That's <laughs> excited. <Woo-hoo! laughs> yes, just what I wanted. <laughs> don't, don't lie. That's exactly what you did. I, I did want exactly what happened in this movie. I was just saying, like the first scene, if, if you turn it on and you're just like, this is this is dumb and it upsets you, just shut it off. If you laugh and say this is going to be great, let it roll. It, it pretty much sets the... Um, I, I like this one. I don't remember what I gave to. I like this one more than two, a little bit, just because bonkers. Ramped up. Bonkers is a good word to describe it. Um, it's silly. It's cheesy. It's intentionally funny. Um, the 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 robot the robot in a robot suit <laughs> hooked to a generator. <laughs> there, there's a point where Dwayne is trying to refill it and he's spilling gas everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Uh, Belial, it starts with Belial banging Eve. They have Belial babies and a busload of freaks and the sh- sheriffs kidnapping little kids and Belial in a Belial robot suit. Like, it's all of, it's it's just all of that. It mm. is that. So I laughed. Uh, I laughed and rolled my eyes and groaned a lot. I gave it a six. Um, it's, my, like I said, it's my second favorite in the franchise. Neither of, I don't think two or three touch one, but. Uh, but yeah, if if you're into that, it's worth it's worth hitting play. Yeah, that's uh right on the money, Jared. 